Hey everybody, this is Rob Goth here, the ET Whisper. I uh, wanted to say hello to all of you guys. Uh, I said I'd be in more regularly, and I'm trying to get there. Uh, we almost had it uh, about a month and a half ago, and something popped up. I'm going to be making a video soon to talk about all that as I make some new announcements. But, today I'm bringing you a meditation, a visualization technique from Treb that shares all about how to get to the template layer of creation. It's an amazing, amazing technique. Uh, it was done during our Patreon. And uh, in this recording, Treb's going to share about this. And the person who's asking the questions is William Stoll from Fincastle Underground, an amazing guy. He's been there for the last year plus helping me and Kalina while Kalina's been dealing with the baby uh, and been bringing uh, a lot of great efforts to the live streams that we do over there. Um, so he helped out with this a lot. Thank you, brother. Uh, and thank all of you guys for hanging in there. Um, we've got some big announcements coming up soon. We're also going to be dropping more videos. We have a, a few private sessions that are going to be uploaded to the channel in the near future. Uh, we also have more live streams that we're going to be doing this year, as we said earlier, and just got kind of hung up for a little bit. And, uh, we also are going to be dropping in Patreon clips, uh, really good clips from Patreon that a lot of people are missing out on. If you want to go to Patreon, there's an $11 and $22 tier there. You can join. It gives you the, the perks and benefits of being able to do the two monthly videos we do there. On the 15th, we do uh, an in-depth topic that everyone chooses topics to vote on then we put them out to vote everyone votes the winner gets channeled in depth on a topic on the 15th and on the 30th everyone sends in their questions and those questions uh get thrown into the uh jar and we pick through those randomly and they get asked and then uh Ardef or treb answer all the questions uh, so that's what we're doing on Patreon. If you join, you get the perks that are mentioned, plus almost three years of archives. Yes, we've been doing Patreon now for almost three years, guys. Anyway, uh, enjoy this meditation, this visualization. Uh, Treb really brought some great energy to it. Uh, and if you want to join us on Patreon, again, it's patreon.com slash etwhisper. And hang in there, guys. Make sure your bells ring on the subscribe button so that you guys can get every upload we bring. Because when we start dropping them day after day after day, you might miss a few unless you have all the notifications on for the bell. Uh, and if you're not subscribed, uh, feel free to subscribe if, if that's what resonates with you. I love you guys. Uh, we will see you very soon. Rob Goth here, the ET Whisperer. I'm out for the night. Love all of you guys. Thank you for sticking around and enjoy the meditation from Treb. Well, Joseph has a question for you. He says, please, could you give us a meditation or technique to use to connect with the template level? Thanks, Trebby. Love to all. Mm, yes. If you are going to meditate, uh, first, uh, all of you can start with closing your physical eyes and start breathing in very deeply. As you breathe in deep and slow, find the energy that is instantly releasing your breath after the lungs are filled completely with air. And do this several times. Breathing in the nose and out of the mouth. And continue doing this uh, to get your center of energy. And as you are doing this, systematically go through your body and release tension that is in the body. Start at the bottom of your feet or from the top of your head and work down to every system. If you started in the head, it would be your crown area, the muscles on the side of your skull, the eyebrows and eyelashes and eyes and nose and jaw, and all of the muscles behind the ear, behind the neck and the shoulders. Go down systematically and continue to do this. And we will stand by for the one moment that it takes all of you to do this and keep breathing while you are doing it as well.
as you all come into that relaxation and breathing energy, one thing that you are able to do is start visualizing the greatest part of the energy chakra of the heart center and visualize the flowing energies that are green. It is swirling and bubbling and moving around. Many humans ask the energy perspective of what a chakra energy appears. Much of it is swirling around as liquids would in a free medium, but also looking at your stars that are the sun in your solar system. If you were to see what the sun appears as with energies that come in and out and swirling and moving, this would be a very good and apt advice to perceive it in this way. Find that energy and allow it to move. Now you are focusing on your third eye energy, and this is the very same thing, but instead of the green color that is in the heart, you will go into that energy of indigo that is a blue and purple mixture and visualize that chakra in your third eye, and it is also bubbling and swirling and maneuvering and moving. Feel that experience of energy radiating from the third eye. Then you go to your crown chakra to do the same thing, to look at the chakra, to perceive it, to see how it moves, to see how it feels. But this color is no longer indigo and becomes a very, very pale color of white with a slight pink purple tone to this energy. It is what most humans call uh, the color of violet. And feel the crown energy radiating. Now you are looking at all of these together instead of separately, where you see all three of them working in tandem. As you perceive it, then zoom out of yourself and zoom to not only the picture that sees your chakras, but also that sees several feet around your body. Start noticing the aura field in its multiple colors, the whites and pinks and purples and greens and orange and reds and blues and indigos, all of the colors that are in the spectrum that are part of the aura. And the aura is approximately the same size as the sphere of visualization as wide as your arms are and as tall as your hands are upwards. Now that you see your aura, we need to divide the layers of energy that are in this layer. The first layer, the outermost layer, you can think of this energy as your mental body. And that energy is more potent in the head region and in the upper portion, but is still encompassing the entire aura. This needs to be separate first. That is why we place it at the very edge so it is easiest to access and easiest to perceive. Now you perceive that energy separating slightly from the aura, so it is an outline of an energy. The next is your emotional body and do the same at the very edge of the aura field. Pull that energy out of one line. So now you have your aura field with one line that is separated slightly as the mental body. And after that, the new energy, the emotional body. Now you have three different aura fields and also three chakras that are working. And all of them are perceived together. Now you work with the very last layer of energy, and this is also at the edge of the aura field, and this is the cosmic consciousness body, the energy that works between the higher self and the over soul, between non-physical reality and physical reality, and this will be a very similar, but as you take it past and make your own line of that, taking it past the mental and emotional body, this 
specific layer is not multicolored as the other layers are. This one is a silver pale white color. And this will be the very edge of your energy systems. And now you can see the three layers, the cosmic consciousness body, the energy behind the emotional body, the mental body, the aura field, and also still perceiving all three of the chakras. Now move your heart chakra energy up to your third eye and let it coalesce and set together and mix together and create energies together. After you do this, feel the difference in the energy, feel your own self, as it comes to your love and it comes to your outer side of energy. Now visualize pushing that energy into the crown chakra energy, letting it settle there and work with one another as all three of the chakras now mixing. As you do this, let that settle as we attend to the body layers of energy. The first layer that is on the outermost will be past the second layer will be past. We go to the mental body and stretch it out towards the emotional body and let that mix together. Then we go from the mixture layer into the last layer of the energetic bodies to the cosmic conscious body. And we allow all three of them to mix and to coalesce with each other. Now we are working with a chakra at the very top of the crown chakra. We are lifting it above the head, out of the crown chakra to above the head, and we push it directly into the stream of consciousness past the auric field where all three of these met before of the mental and emotional and the cosmic consciousness body. And we allow it to sit and vibrate in that level and distribute it into the rainbow that is all around your auric field. Then we expand the auric field into that energy and allow all of our consciousness of aura field all the way to the inside of the body and inside of the chakras and inside of your cellular levels. After this is done, expand as far as you can perceive in your visualization, then shrink back the energy in extraction and do so directly into the crown chakra. After this settles inside of the crown chakra, then you place the intent to go to the edge of physical reality through your visualization. And in that moment, you perceive yourself shooting out into the universe at speeds that are much quicker than light speeds, at speeds where you are able to see other stars instantly and hundreds of stars per second. And the further that you go, you are going to the very edge, so continue speeding upwards. As you go to the very edge of the universe, you will perceive that outer layer of the universe. This is much as your outer layer was of the conscious cosmic energy of your consciousness in the physical layer. Now you will perceive yourself at the very edge of the universe. Allow your body to expand past the non-physical. Let it enter the medium that is the boundary of the universe and allow it to integrate into the highest realms of consciousness that you are able to understand and let you see yourself between the two layers of physical and non-physical. This is where the highest parts of your higher self is. This is where the highest parts of all consciousness is that hold bodies. Now you are able to explore that conscious realm to help start visualizing things in this realm that can help manifesting in the physical world to be much easier, but also so you are able to meet the consciousnesses, entities and beings that are truly helping create energy from their own desires and their energetic works to help humans work in physical reality at much better rates and at much better accuracies. Thank you, Treb.
Yes, you are very welcome. That was pretty in depth. I think I'm going to edit it out later and make it a standalone meditation because I sense it's very powerful. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 